We live in the most challenging security environment in a generation. Citizens of NATO countries in North America and Europe face a wide spectrum of real threats from state and non-state actors. We are all at risk of terrorist attacks at home, hybrid attacks against our democratic systems and societies, cyber attacks against our day-to-day -day infrastructure, and attacks involving conventional weapons and troops perpetrated by those who oppose our shared values. These new and evolving threats mean NATO needs new defensive capabilities. In a 2014 meeting at the leaders' level, each ally committed to increase defense spending in order to make sure NATO has the tools and resources it needs to keep our citizens safe. That means moving towards spending 2% of GDP on defense and 20% of the overall defense budgets on modernization. When allies increase their spending on defense, they are not only strengthening our shared alliance, they are also making an investment in their own ability to defend their citizens, deter aggressors, and better address threats to our way of life. Each NATO ally, and the alliance as a whole, benefits from our investment in defense. Given proper resources, NATO can respond to threats and protect our security, our freedoms, and our prosperity.